Richard Southern joins us now. Richard, tis the season for year end lists, and you're looking at Toronto Library's top books. This is interesting. What were the most borrowed books from our wonderful library system in the city this year, FISA? Number one, it's Michelle Obama. Ooh. Becoming Michelle Obama. Big popular book, right? Mm -hmm. 5,800 borrows. Of course, the former U.S. First Lady descri describing her triumphs and disappointments. This is number two. Washington Black tells the story of an 11 year old slave. Novel asks the question, what is freedom? Almost 5,000 borrows for that. Third most borrowed book from the Toronto Public Library, educated by Tara Westover, her personal story of her journey from living an isolated life to earning a PhD, a touching memoir. Just over 4,000 borrows for that one. Number four, uh, Kingdom of the Blind. Uh, this is a crime thriller. The story actually set in Quebec. That's a uh, New York Times bestselling author. Uh, Louise Penny writing that. And uh, routing out the top five, it's The Reckoning by, you know him, John Grisham, a mystery from that best-selling author. So I guess two takeaways for me on this. First of all, great to see a lot of uh, female authors on the list, mm -hmm. but also the, the library's alive and well, right? You think at this day and age, maybe it's not, but there's a lot of people borrowing books, Fiza. I was thinking of getting a library card because my New Year's resolution the last five years was to read more, and I failed every single year. Well, it's good. They got DVDs and everything in the uh, great system we have here with libraries in Toronto. Okay, you convinced me. Let's go to the library. <laughs> okay. So it was once owned by Rock Royalty. Now a pricey Toronto mansion is up for sale. I want to know who and for how much. Uh, Prince, the late Ooh. famous musician. And this is where he, he lived in Toronto. Wow. Did you know that? And this is the home on the bridal path. It can be yours, Pfizer, for just $16.8 million. Wow. Uh, six bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, 1,400 square feet. Still bears many Prince themes, like the purple-heavy basement and that, and that, a beauty salon that Prince had installed in this house. So it's got a lot. There's a tennis court. There's a pool. There's Prince's old office we're looking at. Uh, he bought this home in 2001 when he married a Toronto woman. They divorced in 06. And, of course, Prince uh, tragically passing away in 2016 mm. in Minnesota. But there you go. Prince's old uh, Toronto digs can be yours for just over 16 million big ones, Fiza. Well, you know, I have a birthday coming up, so anybody <laughs> who knows me. You know what? I'll get you the library. I'll get you the library card. Maybe oh. not Prince's mansion. Oh, okay, Richard. <laughs> cheap. That's cheap, Richard. A little, little out of the old budget. Okay, maybe next year when we get to know each other better. <laughs> You can oh, when, I win, when I win the Lotto Max, you got oh, it, Pfizer. There you go. Okay, speaking of high price items, the world's largest collection of whiskey is on the auction block. Yeah. Maybe you can get me that, too. This is what I want for Christmas. <laughs> it's quite something. It's going to fetch, they think, about $10.5 million. Best co whiskey collection ever to hit the auction block. More than 3,900 bottles, mostly single malt. It was amassed by the late Richard Gooding. He was a private American collector out of Colorado. He spent decades trying to put together his perfect Scotch collection. He went to uh, Scotland and sourced all of these rare bottles, including that 1928 Macallan we're looking at. That could be worth almost a million, that one bottle alone. Uh, but they also have a lot of rare bottles from distilleries that are long gone. The auction house uh, says it's a fascinating insight into one man's ambition and dedication to his greatest loves. I don't know if I had a collection like that that it would be surviving. I think the bottles would be empty, <laughs> FISA. I want to find out who's spending or who has that kind of money, first of all. That's a, that's a friend I need to make. Really got to like your scotch if you're going to shell out $10.5 million on it. That's for sure. Yeah, well, if you buy it, let me know. We'll have a tipple. Why not? Thanks, Richard. <laughs> have a great night. See you tomorrow.